All right, folks, I talk a lot about real issues plaguing Americans' lives on the daily, but, and I also talk a lot about food on my show, but this is a, a story that really I think everyone in America should be discussing. I really think this is the biggest story that we have faced as a species, not just as a country, as a species. And that is, of course, Cracker Barrel has gone woke. That's right, everybody. Cracker Barrel, famous for being, um, well, I mean, it's in the name. I don't know what else to say. They've gone woke. It's happened. Quote, congratulations on being woke. Cracker Barrel customers irate over adding plant-based sausage to menu. Now, they're not removing anything. They're not removing the meat and replacing all the meat with plant-based, like, impossible patties. They're just adding a new option. Everything else is the same. The menu has an additional little bold text... And that's it. And now, they're woke. Cracker Barrel just announced it is hopping on the meatless meat bandwagon and regular customers are not happy. In a post to its Facebook account, the iconic American diner announced it will begin carrying impossible sausages, a meatless breakfast patty made from plants. The option is now available on the restaurant's build your own breakfast menu. And needless to say, the responses did not meet the restaurant's enthusiasm for plant-based products. Quote, you just lost the customer base. Congratulations on being woke and going broke, commented one user. Now, again, I just want to be very honest with and upfront. The people in the, like, you know, the people that say these kinds of things, these are not human beings. Now, this is a point in favor of simulation theory. We were talking about simulation theory in the show earlier. This is a point in favor of, if you ask me why I believe that simulation theory is real, I would answer with that with, with one simple answer. Uh, Republican voters. There's no way that these are human beings. There's no way. I refuse to believe that these are anything but like someone who was like working like 18 hour shifts on like, you know, the newest Elder Scrolls game, like, and their job is like pumping out random NPC dialogue. There is no way that these are real people. Like, there's no way that you're telling me, right? Like, someone in their 40s or 50s is going on Facebook. Right? And like, so they sit down at their computer, right? You just lost a customer base, you're going woke and broke! And then they get up off of their computer, and then like, they go interact with their family, and they like, call their fucking, their, their, their daughter, and talk on the phone. There's no way that these are human beings. You cannot convince me. You cannot convince me that this is a human being. I refuse. So this is a point in favor of simulation theory. Don't you ever try to push that crap in my direction. Stick to the basics that made your franchise a success. First of all, crap is a swear word now. We need to censor crap. I don't know if that's the print outlet doing that. This is fox9.com. I don't know if it's fox9.com censoring crap or if it's the user. When the fuck did crap become a fucking swear word? When I was a kid, crap was the word you say when you meant to say shit, but you couldn't say shit because shit was a fucking swear word, so you say crap instead. Who the fuck censors crap? Jesus Christ. Crap! My God. Quote, Are you kidding me? Actually, that's... Are you kidding me? Who do you think you kissing my base is? I store all the double meat breakfast and it's not even on the menu anymore. Now, first of all, that's a lie. It is on the menu. But like, and? And? Right? And? Right? Who cares? I want to eat vegetables I can recognize, wrote someone else on Facebook. Yet you eat ground beef. You eat sausage. Wait, so okay, the vegetable has to be a whole vegetable, right? The meat, like this same principle being applied to meat, 
would mean you only eat like fucking pork chops and steak or something or chicken legs. How can someone sit there and say that they'll eat bacon and sausage, but they won't eat impossible sausage because it doesn't look like a vegetable? My friend, you are eating pro like you're eating hot dogs. HOT DOGS! And you're gonna shit on Impossible Burgers cause you don't- I don't look like vegetable to me! My god! My god! We got a dumb motherfucker here! Only the oh. I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ- Stupid ass fuck face bitches, man! Quote- <laughs> I gotta do the type I just lost respect for one great Tennessee company. Why? Why? Like, talk about getting fucking triggered. Talk about getting motherfucking triggered. Holy shit. The post garnered hundreds of more negative comments in which people decried the possibility that woke vegetarian options would be... Jesus Christ. Anyway, so this is what the right's doing. Eating vegetables is woke. And we wonder, in this country, why 95% of Americans don't eat fiber? What is fiber? Fiber's vegetables. Nine, look it up. 95% of Americans do not reach the minimum, minimum daily recommended intake of fiber. 95%. They don't reach the minimum. 5% of Americans eat the proper amounts of vegetables on a daily basis. 5%. 93% of Americans are cardio-metabolically unhealthy. Their metabolism is slow, right? Their bodies are failing, right? They're storing excess fat, presumably around their organs, right? They're developing, uh, you know, problems that lead to diabetes. Why? That means 7% of Americans, right? are actually metabolically healthy, 7%. And we wonder how those numbers get that way. And then we look at stuff like this and we're like, oh right, Americans are fucking stupid. Americans are fucking stupid. Americans are fucking stupid. So, there you go, Cracker Barrel's going woke. And you're going broke. You go woke and you go broke. My God. Again, simulation theory. Point in favor of simulation theory. Could I react to cemetery? He makes good points. I don't know who cemetery is. <laughs> 